Welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is a general reading, a weekly reading for uh, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Inner Venus. This will go from Wednesday to Wednesday, okay? June 2021. So, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, please do not try to make it fit. Don't forget to check your other placements as well. Please keep in mind, everything is subject to free will. Your free will and anyone you are currently uh, energetically connected to or connected to in the past and or in the future. Also, please keep in mind, everything is subject to the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect, and this can apply to any area of your life, okay? Let's see, Spirit. Can you please show me Pisces, please? What's coming? What's going on for Pisces this week? Okay. Oh, well. That's intense. <clears throat> Almost the entire deck just flew out of my hand. Okay. Spirit, what's going on for Pisces this week? Pisces. Okay, so we have the two of swords in the upright. We have the three, the three of wands in reverse. What else is going on for Pisces? The tower reverse, okay. Alright, so you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. An air sign, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a Scorpio, specifically also an Aries as well. So let's see. Someone has a decision to make and someone else is getting very tired of waiting for someone to make a decision. If you have a decision to make this week, you're going to try to dodge a bullet with somebody here. You're going to try to evade the situation. But this can also even talk about things just coming completely crashing down. Um, so things can be rebuilt. So let's see what this is about. Why is the Two of Swords here? Unexpected income. So you have to make a decision about finances. Okay. You could be worried about poverty or going broke. All right, why is the three of wands, okay, main male, this could be you or this could be a partner. You're no longer going to wait on somebody. Um, you're really worried about your money. Okay, you're afraid that you're going to be put into the poor house here. Sorry about that. Show me the tower reverse, please. Marriage, okay. So you could be married or you could be, know someone who's married or you're wanting to get married. Your feels, it feels like you are turning down a marriage proposal or leaving a marriage here. And it feels like... Or you're dodging some type of financial setback this week. Regard, and it's going to protect your marriage, but you're dodging a bullet here. Now, if you're not married, you, you may be uh, turning down somebody for marriage or a relationship. And dodging a bullet that way. Or... Or something's coming crashing down for someone's marriage this week. Um, I feel like finances have a lot to do with it. Also, um, someone could be telling you that they don't want to make a decision because they're worried about losing finances here. Let's see. Show me unexpected income, please. Why is this here for Pisces? So you're fighting for your money? Or there's a big fight about money? Show me poverty. Yeah, servant. You maybe have maybe you're um, maybe <clears throat> if you work in like food in industry, someone treats you very badly. Someone's using you. Um, there's a big fight about money, um, and you're finding out or realizing that someone's been using you for money. <clears throat> so you're basic. Excuse me. So you're basically turning your back on this man here, or this is you turning your back on the situation. Okay, why is the main male here, please? Reunion. So you don't want to wait to have a reunion with somebody. Or they don't want to wait to have a reunion with you. Um, remember, it can be vice versa. i got to read it just from the signs perspective because it's just too much for me to have to say. Um, I'm going to focus on the message. So I feel like you want to have a reunion with someone. But you do realize that they used you. And there is a fight about money here. But you still want to come back. I don't know if someone's left or made the decision to walk. 
Um, okay. Why is the marriage card here? Waiting. Yeah, it looks like you're waiting to get married or you're waiting for someone to pop the question. Um, but I don't know if they're going to because we got the tower reverse. So this talks about disaster averted, possibly in a marriage, or you're just waiting for something to happen. All right. But there is definitely a fight about money. And be mindful. I mean, if you want to marry somebody, have a reunion with someone that you that is using you or has used you in the past, just be mindful of that. Show me the soldier. Why is the soldier here? Okay, so you're okay. So you're having a fight with a female enemy that's gonna put you in a lot of despair because of your ego or theirs. Somebody's ego is really getting in the way. Show me a servant, please. Death, an enemy. Death to your enemies, Pisces, like for real. Someone's putting it into the situation because they know that they've been used. Either this could be you or someone else, but if you might be ending a situation because you know that you've been used or someone is using you for money. And you might want to have a reunion with somebody else that you once either worked for or were in love with or married to. Um, and I feel like you're just waiting for someone's marriage to fall apart so you can be with that person. Show me a reunion, please. Yeah, it's making you sick to your stomach right now. That you can't have this reunion or that you want to have this. It's almost like you're lovesick right now. Because you want to go back to somebody. Show me waiting. Why is waiting here? Falseness. Okay, if someone told you that they were waiting on you, they're not. They're now getting married. If someone told you that if you were in a relationship with them before and they didn't want to get married. They told you they didn't believe in marriage. Well, something's happening in a, in a connection that you're in. A separate, a different connection, and you're, it feels like you want to, you're just sick to your stomach because you want to have a reunion with someone, um, but you, they told you that they were going to wait for you, they're not, they lied, they're actually going to get married. Um, show me the falseness, please. Money and in journey. Also, someone could have told you that they couldn't come towards you. Now, Pisces, you could be doing this to somebody else, okay? That's a lie. The lie was that, oh, I I have the money to travel or, or I don't have the money to travel towards you. And it's not because of that. It's because someone here is very much married. Wife at the bottom of the deck. You can see that. Okay. So, there's that. Is there anything else that Pisces need to know? So... I feel like your enemy is you is your ego right now. Your ego is working against you or someone else. And the enemy is ending the situation. Somebody wants to be free of the situation. I feel like you want to put an end to the situation. You just don't want to deal with it no more. You look at somebody as an enemy. But I feel like they used you or maybe you used them. Anything else, please? Anything else that Pisces needs to know? Birds, so there's going to be some communication, but there needs to be equal give and take. There's also going to be communication about return on the investment. Um, we also have the Eight of Swords. Someone's really worried about something going public or meeting with you. Maybe, maybe you guys are meeting up to talk about something, to iron some things out. But make sure that it's equal. Make sure that you're going to get a return on your investment, though, with this, okay? Um, we also have the Heart here, so this pertains to love, but there's a burden here. Could we do another water song? A Scorpio specifically? There's a cross here that someone's to bear. Someone, someone wants to have victory, but they have to carry this cross. It means like they have to, they're being, I guess, judged or they have to carry this burden in their heart for something. But they're trying to make an offer towards you. But I don't think it's going to be what you think it's going to be because they, they already have somebody else. They're already married or getting married or what have you. Also, please keep in mind everything is, we are, well, we've got a lot of different retrogrades going on right now. One in particular is Mercury retrograde um, in Gemini, so just keep that in mind. Anything else, please? Last message, last card. Yeah. 
Not as bright. Okay, so you have crossroads, yeah. So they'll make an offer towards you, possibly, or you to them. And someone will have to make a decision. So we're back to square one. This is like being at a crossroads in some some respects. Because you have a choice between two opposing forces or two opposing, opposing people or two separate things. Here's the same thing. Which path do I take? So we have two queens. We have queen of swords. And then we also have the queen of pentacles here. So... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. We got a lot of Scorpio here. So you might very well be dealing with Scorpio or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I get strong Gemini or Libra. All right, let me get you some Oracle cards. Indecision is the decision, is what I just heard. If you want this to work out with this person that you guys are fighting, if you're running to if you're running to somebody else from your past because something isn't working out here, before you do that, why don't you just take a break here for a minute and just see if that's what you really want? Because if you were to go to this person and leave this one, I mean you do what you want, it's your life. I'm just saying someone isn't being honest with you. Um, if someone's coming towards you from the past, outside of a current connection here, they're not being honest about finances and travel. They don't want to really travel towards you. They don't want to make movement towards you. Not really. And because they're because they're getting married. Any guidance, please, for my Pisces? So if you want this connection, then work on this connection instead of trying to jump connections. Like, you know, jump from one relationship to the to another. Any guidance, please? Okay. So, letting go in reverse. So, if you want this connection, you have to stay and work on it. And you have to turn this up to maybe transform this. Okay? Anything else for my Pisces, please? Any other guidance, please? Rigid. Yeah. So, you're not letting go. And you're holding like a knuckle. You're white knuckling it. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, you've got Chaos. So, this is a cyclical pattern of yours or someone else's. Rigid chaos. You're not letting go of rigidity and um, chaotic energy in your life. Sagittarius energy. I'm also getting Scorpio as well. You want to have success by causing chaos. Um, you might even try to tell somebody congratulations, but at the same time, you feel all kinds of upset because someone's getting married. Or have someone, you can't go back to that person anymore. Um, you've been very rigid about things, too. You're not letting something or somebody go. It's like you just want to have another option. Or somebody does. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. But there's something that really does need to be let go of in order for there to be transformation here. Okay? So, whatever that is for you... Um, don't let your ego, ego get in the way. Okay. I feel like. Also there could be some issues with depression. As well. There could be a lot of issues with depression. Where's the deck? Show me this despair. I'm going to see this real quick. I feel like your enemy is the depression. And then. Yeah. Show me this despair. Conversation. So you need to talk about your despair. Your depression. Obviously I'm not a doctor. Or a psychiatrist or a psychologist. If you really are that depressed, please please go talk to someone. Or if you feel really, really depressed and in despair, there's hotlines for that, okay? Um, you don't. You're not alone. You don't have to be. Um, you can talk to someone about it, okay? Anything else, please? Yeah, there's a major depression here. Maybe even some suicidal thoughts. So please get some help, okay? If, that, if, this, is, if this is you, it doesn't have to be you. It could be someone that you know. Um, please... Reach out to someone, okay, to talk to them. Um, if you're, if this isn't you and you suspect it to be someone else and you care about this person, reach out to them, check on them. Okay? All right. Well, this is what I have for you, Pisces. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And if you'd like to get a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box below. Okay? All right. Please take care of yourself. Until next week.